All right, everyone, a lot of policy and a lot of money at stake between now and January. Bush tax cuts set to expire. Automatic defense spending cuts kick in, also reduced unemployment benefits, and we may still hit our head on the debt ceiling. Today, in Reganomics, we are asking about this so-called tax Maggedon and what it's going to mean for the markets. Michael Boland of Dome, Ad Dome Advisors analyzes political moves for institutional investors. Michael, welcome to the program. I believe I first heard you talking about this tax Maggedon. It's something that uh, you say actually should give investors some comfort. So explain to me what you mean by that. Well, I think it's the thing that prompts the grand bargain to return. I think one of the things that's hanging over the entire market is this uncertainty about the federal fiscal mess. And if taxes are going to go up on January 1, so-called tax Mageddon Day, you're going to have a debt ceiling of $16.4 trillion that has to be addressed somehow. I don't think those things can be allowed to happen by a Congress that wants to stay popular or get popular, rather, with the American public. So I think that brings both political parties back to the bargaining table. I'm not saying they'll get brave or get smart. I'm thinking that when they get cornered, they'll come to a deal. And they'll do what they need to do, which, uh, you know, I'm most interested in, I imagine our viewers are most interested in this capital gains uh, being treated as ordinary income, because right now we know we all get a break on those dividends uh, with the dividend tax, capital gains tax, if capital gains were to be treated as ordinary income, assuming that politicians couldn't come to a resolution before January 1st, 2013. What could that mean, Michael, for the markets? Well, Trish, I think you meant ca uh, dividend income going from 15 to 20 percent, uh, to ordinary income tax rates. Capital gains rates go from 15 to 20. But you're also right to anticipate that Congress, before the election, might want to postpone tax Mageddon into the first quarter of 2013. Right now, it's scheduled to occur on January 1. And the joke in Washington is that Congress often ruins Thanksgiving, sometimes ruins Christmas. They're going to miss their first chance to ruin New Year's <laughs> Eve, I think. And I think they will postpone tax Mageddon into the first quarter, about the same time the debt ceiling gets reached, about the same time on January 15, when the sequester is scheduled to start. So I think that's the right kind of stimulus for a compromise, a grand bargain, so to speak. <laughs> I know, but you know, the more you postpone these things, Michael, the more nervous it starts to make the investing community because, as you said in the beginning, they want clarity. They want resolution. They want this done and over with. Well, I can't give them clarity yet, but what I can do is point to a somewhat optimistic scenario, <laughs> one I don't think they're hearing anywhere else, that sometimes when the pressures are greatest is when they can all be resolved. All right. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Michael Boland of Dome Advisors, a Thank pleasure you. to have you on the program.